as a starter. Got the stair boys keeping me stronger. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my render settings since I think it will help a lot of you and I'll also show you how my rendering went from literally a whole day and a half to 9-7 hours max so let's just get right into it of course my resolution is always vertical quality is always 85 or 75 and then of course I open my denoising tool because yeah it helps a lot and then I change from CPU to GPU but it really just depends on your computer if rendering on CPU is faster that's good it really just depends on your type of computer and if you don't know which one is faster try giving GPU computer a try another thing I do is actually I don't render on Aviwa I render on PNG and then after I have image sequence I changed from image sequence to video. A few reasons why I think rendering on PNG is way better than Avua, and one of them is if your computer shuts down in the middle of rendering, you won't have to re-render the whole entire thing. And I'll show you at the end of the video how I changed them from image sequence to the video. <laughs> After that, which is another tip that boosted my render time a lot. This technique is something I actually found out about very recently and I hope I knew it earlier. And it is render the background first if, and then just remove the background. Render as RGBA and then after you render, go in your video editing app and then put the background that you rendered under the video. Let me tell you why. You see, the background normally takes some time to render. However, when you only rendering wigs doesn't take that much time each frame so that helped me a lot and i really wish i knew earlier so i would highly recommend using that tip one last thing i actually don't render on 2.7 at all on blender 2.8 there is this thing rendering on both gpu and cpu basically all you have to do is just open blender preferences go to system open cl and then you want to select both if you have them of course some people may not have them but hear me out this technique made my pc crash a lot i wouldn't recommend using it a lot but if it's like something with a lot of frames it does decrease the render time a lot because now you're not only rendering with cpu or gpu no you're rendering on both so that's another tip and that's basically it these are all my render settings and i hope i help Each sequence to video is just select all of the images and then drag them and drop them in your video editing app. Keep in mind that not all video editing apps do have the ability to change from image sequence to video. That's why I use DaVinci Resolve. After that, I just render it.